What it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It, ashsaidit.com, ashsaidit.com. Welcome to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,600 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this would be possible without you guys, so I thank you so very, very much. And yes, we are in May. We're finally here in May, and the flowers are blooming, and pollen is everywhere, ATL, all right? (laughs) So today I've got with me, I've got two awesome business owners chilling out with me today with the Georgia, the southern region area's first location conveniently built in Morningside Village. I've got the franchisees of the 10 spot, LaDonna and Darnell Suggs. Hi, you guys. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I am great. How are you guys doing today? We're doing good. So good. Glad to be here. Ah, thank you. So first off, how did you guys actually discover the 10 spot? So we were very, we're very entrepreneurial. We, we okay. certainly have that entrepreneurial spirit. We've done a couple of businesses independently and we started discussing the possibility of franchising probably a couple years ago Mm. and got very serious about it a year or so ago and really started to hone in on the beauty industry and the beauty space and nails and all all of that (laughs) and um, as we started going through that process we sort of identified like a handful of franchises that sort of came on our radar as we really um, started to get serious about the process. Mm -hmm. And in going through the discovery, um, the 10 spot just stood out, head head and shoulders above the rest. And we were really just excited about the process and the possibility um, of, of introducing a brand and a concept that was just really unique and presented some really great opportunities for the times that we're in. And and the other part of it too, was that um, uh, there's really not a whole lot of uh, players in this space either. You know, Mm. um, you think about a nail salon or any type of wax bar, they're typically independently owned, um, uh, typically mom and pop, you know, so there, there was an opportunity that was presented, I think, uh, in our minds at least, um, to try to get into a space that we kind of standardize that. You know, when you think of franchise, you think of, you know, the same place providing the same service. You think like McDonald's, you know, you mm-hmm. get the same type of, you know, service, the same type of fries, the <laughs> whole nine. And, you know, yeah. um, that was kind of our thought here with this as well, you know, really being able to provide, you know, top-notch service and being able to replicate that, you know. So you get it the same the same way every place you go. Mm, I love that. Now, what are some of the services that you guys provide yeah, that's actually one of the things that we love about um, the 10 spot is it is a very comprehensive service offering. So mm. we have a full nail, nail bar, a full wax bar providing general mm. and specialty waxing, a brow and lash bar where we provide brow laminations, lash lifts, brow tints, lash tints, um, a skin bar where we do amazing facials. Amazing. Amazing facials. Wow. Um, and then the brand also offers laser hair removal, which we do plan to introduce as we continue to grow the brand in the metro Atlanta area. So it's very exciting that it's really a one top, a one stop beauty spot for all of your regular maintenance needs for beauty. Yes. Now, you guys are the first. When I first heard that you guys were coming to Atlanta, you know, you're coming to the metro area. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, and I'm listening and I'm I'm going through all the different. I'm like, this is insane because we've never seen it before. Georgia has never seen anything like that before. So kudos to you guys for. Yeah, it's really the. Oh, go ahead. You're good. Oh, sorry. (laughs) I was going to say it's really the convenience of being able to, you know, kind of have one place that you come for everything. You know, you think about some of the services that, that we offer, you know, you typically go to your, your, you know, your everyday nail place and then you go somewhere else for waxing. And then every now and then you may go and pop into a spa for a facial, you know, mm-hmm. um, it's, it's really just the convenience of being able to kind of come and get everything done in one place. Yeah. And not have to compromise on quality because I think there are, you know, there are a few places that offer a couple different service lines, but they're really like known for one thing. Mm -hmm. And then the other service may be more ancillary. Whereas the 10 spot is known across the board for being impeccable at all of the service categories. So there really isn't one that stands out above the other. And that's really what we want to help 
the metro Atlanta area understand is, you know, you may walk by, see our beautiful space and see mail because that's what's out in front. Mm-hmm. But it's a whole party in the back with the with our <laughs> with our treatment rooms where all of the other services go down. So it's just really, really exciting. It's a great concept. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, there are a lot of people that, you know, we've got the vaccines going on right now. We've got people still social distancing and keeping to themselves some. So they're a little uneasy about going out and getting a service done. So what protocols do you guys have in place that are keeping guests, um, keeping guests safe and, you know, putting their mind at ease? You know, I'm so glad you asked that because... We really got serious about this franchise about a year ago, just before COVID. Mm. And I think that most people would have gotten a bit nervous, scared, almost shook when COVID happened and you're about to enter this (laughs) whole beauty space. But for us, it really solidified our decision for the 10 spot because the 10 spots sanitary um, and sterilization practices far exceed anything that is required by your local state or county requirement. So they have had the mantra of being clinically clean from its inception in 2006. Mm. So when COVID came around, literally the only thing that had to change was wearing masks which was not required uh, prior to that. It wasn't required for our aesthetic experts. It wasn't required for our guests. Um, But because of COVID, obviously, we introduced wearing masks and, you know, social distancing. But beyond that, the protocols for the 10 spot um, that were in place then and (coughs) and remain in place have been, uh, some of them are very, easy to see like right off the bat when you walk in. So our pedicure station is not plumbed. So we Mm -hmm. do not have the jetted tubs that I think people are used to seeing with a pedicure station, but we instead have resin basins. And that's very intentional Mm -hmm. because there's no, there's no great way to clean the piping that recirculates the water in those jetted tubs. So having um, freestanding resin basins that are completely sanitized and sterilized in between each service really goes above and beyond. Um, but, but the protocols don't stop there. <laughs> All of our tools that our aesthetic experts are using are stainless steel, and they are sterilized oh, wow. and sanitized in between each service. And anything that comes in contact with the guest that's not stainless steel, like filers, those are all one-time use disposable after every single client every after every single guest those things are, are thrown out so the the clinical um processes and protocols that were in place before covid have served us extremely well post-covid wow that's amazing that is such a good um protocol with you guys doing that stuff because I know that in the past when I've gone to salons and things of that nature you know you're looking and you're seeing everything that you just talked about you're seeing all of that happen so um really really important I'm glad that you guys are doing that and have that in place and people can definitely you know put their minds at ease with that now I apologize 100% 100 oh my goodness no but I, I apologize to you guys because I was supposed to make it out there to the grand opening and I I had some other stuff going on, and I was elsewhere. But I know that you guys... We missed you. We missed you. <laughs> I missed you guys, too. I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm not going to go. But I'll beat out there eventually. I'm going to make my way. I'm just putting yes. that on the board. It's going to happen. But I wanted to know from you guys, why did you pick the Morningside Village area? <laughs> yeah, so, so that's, a, that's an interesting question that people ask us from time to time. And it's really simple. Um, we actually live in the neighborhood. Uh, oh. So when we were looking for places where we would want to put our very first location, mm-hmm. um, it you know, we looked around uh, the, the entire metro area um, and really at the end of the day kind of fell back on, well, if this is going to be something that we are going to start and own, um, it needs to be something that we kind of start and our own community mm. first. Um, and so the Morningside Village neighborhood ended up being the perfect location. Um, and as timing would have it, you know, there was a, uh, a, a commercial space that opened up for us, um, literally walking distance from our home. So it just <laughs> kind of made sense, nice. you know, and we've got so much, uh, um, uh, feedback from all of our neighbors yeah. and, yeah. you know, I mean, it's just kind of a community thing. So it really has been great. I love that. I think it's definitely is a perfect spot, especially, you know, kind of opening up people's minds to, you know, different parts of Atlanta, because I think sometimes certain areas get highlighted over others. 
And I, I love yes. the fact that you guys yes. are right there. That's a perfect location for you. Now, are there any... Yes, definitely a neighborhood vibe, a neighborhood yeah. feel, people walking their dogs and pushing their strollers and, you know, just happen upon us. And they're like, oh, we have a new space. And, you know, we, we love the neighborhood. We really wanted to introduce something that we thought the neighborhood would also love. And it's been so well received. We could not have asked for a warmer welcome. Loving that, loving that. Now, this weekend is Mother's Day weekend. So do you guys have any reservations and things going on? Do people need to put in their their stuff in with their moms uh, up front? Or what's going on with that? Yeah, so Mother's Day is uh, a really big day just in general for self-care. You know, everyone wants Mm -hmm. to get their mother something, whether it be flowers or you know, something really special. Um, Although you can show your mother love all year long. That's and I'm true. sure they would greatly appreciate it. We're happy to help you out with that anytime. We don't have to wait till Mother's Day, but we'll definitely do some special things on Mother's Day. This is very true. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but no, um, but Mother's Day uh, for us, you know, we, we are really um, incentivizing uh, coming in for service, obviously. Uh, we've got some gift cards as well. So even if you're, not quite sure, thinking of something kind of last minute for Mother's Day, you know, you can pop in, pick up a gift card, either in store or even um, online as well. You can kind of come and uh, uh, get that online without actually having to come at the bar. Um, and then we've also got some special things going on with the pop-up, and I'll let my wife say a little bit more about yes, that. Yes, I'm so excited about the pop-up. There is a um, local floral company, a uh, mm. small business owner that is has reached out to us about doing a pop-up um, with us over the weekend for Mother's Day, and it's going to be so, oh. so awesome. I highly encourage you all to come out Saturday and Sunday. So she is going to be um, on the spot creating custom floral arrangements for all of our guests as they come and get services um, at the 10 spot. You can also purchase your own floral arrangement. You can make arrangements with her to have florals delivered to your mom on the next day. Um, so it's just a really nice touch to yeah. the entire 10 spot experience. Um, we're also going to work with her to put together uh, some packages. So if you want to get a package, a suite of services, let's say you want to get a Brazili, uh, six, six Brazilis for the next few months. Um, and with that purchase, you want to, we will be happy to greet you with flowers for each of those Brazilis um, or a Manny Petty uh, package where you're getting Manny Petty for the next six months. And then mm-hmm. we'll work out to get, make sure that you are greeted with a beautiful floral arrangement. So it's just, a, it, it works so perfectly with the 10 spots mantra of making everyone feel like a 10. I think yeah. when you get flowers, it automatically puts a smile on your face. So we're really excited to be partnering um, with her on that. And I can't forget to say that we also have um, a lot of retail as well that we will also be um, selling in bar for Mother's Day. Um, and we've got some additional um, retail benefits. So uh, we've got uh, a really nice uh, get nailed, uh, totally on brand uh, gift Hot bag. Gift bag, yes. Yeah, <laughs> that, um, that we'll be giving out as well with the purchase of $120 or more in retail. Yes. And oh, and I have to mention, so the 10 spot recently launched maybe two weeks ago was right around the same time that we had our grand opening. They launched um, our private 10 spot line of products. And so we we always keep it very simple. It is the wash, the lotion, the scrub and the (laughs) hand fanny, um, along with a beautiful array of 10 spot proprietary nail polish colors. So all of those will be on display this weekend and available for, like, an easy pickup gift for Mother's Day. So we're really excited to just offer all of that to um, to the Atlanta area. Yes, that's a lot of stuff. People need to be, you know, going ahead and getting those schedules set up and booked up. Exactly. I'm loving that. <laughs> now, last but yes. certainly not least, you guys, why do people need to visit the 10 spot for their weekday getaway? So I, I think it's really simple. Um, the vibe of the 10 spot is very upbeat. No matter what your you know day is like, when you walk into the 10 spot, we've got music playing. We've got people greeting you with smiles. Uh, we've vibrant got it, colors. Vibrant orange colors. Mm. Uh, and we've got really great services to offer. So uh, as, um, as we just mentioned, you know, the mantra of the 10 spot is to make everyone feel like a 10. So we yeah. want you to 
walk in but strut out feeling like a 10 for exactly. sure. Exactly. And, and that can happen any day of the week. We're open seven days a week. All right. I love it. LaDonna and Darnell, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you. My pleasure. <laughs> so We're so much. excited to have joined you. Thank Aww. you so much for having us. Not a problem. Let everyone know if they want to get some more information about you guys to, you know, book appointments, good things of that nature, and also to follow you on social media. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they can always go to the 10 spot spelled out T H E T E N S P O T dot com, and you can find us um, under Atlanta um, on the map there. Uh, and you can also follow us on social media. Um, it is X dot A T L Morningside M O R N I N G S I D E, and uh, that's us on social and uh, us online as well. Sounds like a plan. Much more success, you guys. You guys have to come back when there's more stuff going on. I know as the months go on, there's going to be more announcements. I like exclusives. Oh, yeah. I like to be able to tell people stuff first. <laughs> so, oh, you exactly. got it. You got it. We were, we're definitely planning a lot of activities. This is just the beginning, so we're very excited. <laughs> Certainly. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.